This is the bike that I've nicknamed the Lancer. It's a 1000 watt full suspension fat tire bike and you probably already knew that but you probably didn't know that it was built to take a second battery. That's right, we have a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery in the frame, which keeps the bike looking nice and slim, but we can also add a second 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery, or in the case of the brand new Lancers that are on the way, it can go up to a 48 volt, 17 amp hour battery. That means that between the stock battery of 14 amp hours and the second battery of 17 and a half amp hours, you could have a massive 48 volt, 31.5 amp hour capacity, which should easily give you a range somewhere between 50 and 80 miles. I know one of the questions you're gonna have is can this be done to any bike? And the short answer is it's a little more complicated on other bikes than this because the bike was designed for it and has a plug waiting for the second battery. There is a dual parallel battery connector that we used to sell on our website that's currently out of stock. The good news is I have a new one that's been in development for quite some time. We've been testing it and that is going into production right now. So we will have a new parallel connector that makes this possible on most other e-bikes. Before I get into the installation, which hopefully will just take a single tool, I want to explain how a dual battery system typically works. Common questions are, can I use a single charger and will it charge both batteries? Can I use two chargers and charge both batteries at the same time? When my display is showing the battery level, is that showing one battery, both batteries, a combination of the two, and an average? Is it just the one that has a higher charge? I want to make sure that all of those questions are crystal clear. I have that separate charge port. This one that's on the frame right here is only for the internal battery, and then there's going to be a separate charge port on the second battery, which means you have two options. You can either use your charger to plug into one battery and then swap it to the other one, or if you get a second charger, you can plug into both batteries. Effectively, you're doubling your charging speed. Now, when it comes to voltage flow or current flow from one battery to another, that's where the circuits need to be made properly because a standard parallel battery connection effectively wires two batteries so that they share the same voltage but are increased in capacity. So two batteries on this bike is going to remain 48 volts. We're not doubling our voltage, but we are doubling the capacity or the amp hours, which means we can go twice as far. So the bike's not gonna go any faster, it's not going to accelerate any quicker, it's not going to produce more watts, but it will go twice as far. The parallel circuit installed in the frame is a little bit smarter than just that because it doesn't allow the voltage to flow from this battery to this battery. And that is critical. If you have a standard parallel connection that doesn't have that type of circuit, what will happen is if this battery is fully charged and this one is say only half charged and you plug them in at the same time, voltage is going to flow from this battery to this one very, very quickly until they equalize. That means a very, very high discharge rate from this battery, a very, very high charge rate to your second battery, which is not good for either of them. It could potentially kill both batteries. So we don't want that, and thankfully that's not something you even have to worry about. The circuit is built in, so that cannot happen. So because of that, when you turn on the display, what it's gonna show you is the battery level of whichever battery has the higher charge level. Now, if they're equal, it should be pulling from both batteries evenly and draining them together at the same voltage. But if one battery is charged up to 100% and the other is at 50%, you're going to drain the 100% battery down to 50% until they're equal, and then from that point on, they're going to drain evenly. I think that explains the basics, so let's go ahead and put this thing on. Step number one, remove the three screws on the frame. Step 
Step number two is to remove the cradle, which is the bottom piece attached to our new battery. All we need to do at this point is line up a couple of these holes, at least two, and put those screws back in. I almost forgot these little rubber bumpers. These should go on underneath the cradle before you screw it on. Bumpers are gonna situate underneath wherever you're putting the screws through. That helps it to not only hold tightly to the frame, but prevents any rattling or wobbling. Don't forget to lock your new battery onto the cradle. Now all we have to do is plug it in. This is kind of a unique connector. You can see there's quite a few pins in there. It's a one-way design. And then there is this little guy right here that spins around. There's two little notches in there. You wanna make sure those are lined up. And then this is gonna to twist to lock it in place. So once you have this plugged in and locked, this connector cannot come out. See, we can tug on that all we want, it's not gonna come unplugged. I'm gonna add a zip tie right here just for good measure. And we are all done. I've now got two batteries. Each one can be removed individually. Uh, that's one of the things I didn't answer earlier, is can you run on just one battery? And of course, yes, you can. And it doesn't matter which one. It can be the one inside the frame, it can be the one outside, and because this battery is so easy to remove, if I know I'm gonna go for a shorter ride, I want the bike to be a little bit lighter, more maneuverable, I can just run with the internal battery, and then if I know I'm gonna go on a longer ride, I want maximum range, wanna make sure I'm gonna make it to work and back or a long commute, then I can always put the second one on there whenever I need it. I do have a few of these batteries in stock right now. Be aware that the frame sizes, this internal triangle area, is a little bit different on the older bikes with the black and bright colors versus the new gray bikes. The gray bikes actually have a little bit more room, so they can use the larger up to 17 and a half amp hour batteries, whereas if you've got one of these older bikes, about a 14 amp hour is the largest that can fit into the frame. But again, I have a few of these in stock right now for immediate shipping. So if you've got one of these older bikes and you need a little bit more